Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So I'm with, here today with another roaming monster from Massive Darkness 2. This is Queen Kenedra, who's slap chopped. And if you want to see that, that video will be popping up right now in the top corner. We're starting off with some Griff Hound Orange. We're going to be using some contrast paints on this large miniature. Uh, we're going to be doing the entirety of the wings. And don't worry, we're going to fix it all up again later. I mean, well, not fix it. You'll see what I'm going to do with this. Is And I was debating between Magma Droth Flame and the Griff Hound Orange. Now, maybe I should have went more with the Magma Droth Flame because it's a very brighter orange. This is more of a darker orange. And I think it might have been too dark once it dried. Uh, and her wings in the artwork were a bit brighter. So if you do have the Magma Draw Flame and you want to try it, please uh, let me know if it worked out. And you can join my Discord channel. With the link is in the description. And you can always share your pictures there as well if you want. Uh, and also if you want to become a Patreon, you can join me. And the link is also in the description. That would help pay for a lot of painting stuff, videos like this. And you get your name put up on a video. You get behind the scenes look. All sorts of cool stuff. I got us dunes now. We're doing this tree branch or this tree roots or whatever this is. Now, to be honest, I think this is the favorite part of the miniature. Uh, just because of that whole underpainting, that whole slap chop method just really brings out the, the dark and the lights on the roots. Some pterodon turquoise now. We're doing those that fur or feathers or whatever this creature has. Uh, there's some on her chest, some on her head. Her hair goes back onto the wings. Uh, again, another beautiful color with the slap chop method. The bright comes out bright, the darker, darker. You know, again, if you haven't tried slap chopping your miniature, please do try it. It is a great method and saves you a lot of time. Uh, it's not just your typical zenithal highlighting, which is fun. You know, it's always fun to learn new things. Now is drag yellow now. We're putting this on her chest and her face. Uh, this is a little bit more yellow than I wanted. I was looking more for like a honey color. Uh, but I will fix that again later and make it look a little bit more like I wanted. Flesh hair is red now for the horns and her arms and her legs. Uh, she has quite a few arms. She has four arms to do. Uh, again, the flesh hair is red. Uh, came out a little darker than I was expecting. I thought the white would have made it pop a little bit more. Uh, maybe there was too much of a heavy brush on the white. Maybe instead it wasn't enough contrast between the grays and the black and the white. Uh, again, but this is again where you're looking at object source lighting, right? You want to say, okay, where is the lighting coming from? Well, it almost looks like to me on this one, the lighting was coming from the front, the way I did it. Uh, you can do it any way you want, but again, as you can see, all the shadow in the back because you're seeing as if the light was hitting from the front, so it actually can come out looking pretty cool. Um, batch painting can be done really quickly too, whenever you have it all slap chopped, it, it just it saves a lot of time anyways because if you have just white primer you're going to get just a monochrome color you will get some of the i mean lights and darks but not as uh drastic as this berserker blood shade now uh, so see so you can see i'm putting some on her face for this just to make it a little bit more toned down this is a reddish shade and i'm doing just the um i don't know what you would call these parts of her wings but like not the like the skin part but like almost like the well i don't know the like the joints of all the wings and just to give it a reddish darker hue to it um now again what i was originally planning was to put the the uh magma droth orange on the entirety and then the griffhound orange just on these areas here but i decided to try this red blood berserker blood shade um and it actually does a good job once it's dry. It gives it that dark edge looking. Uh, and, or <laughs> looking. It gives that dark edge. Making it a little dark. A little bit more red. Uh, and it really finishes off the uh, the wings of this miniature. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the Massive Darkness 2 series. Uh, you can always take a look at the whole playlist. Uh, I'm getting close to being done with uh, the massive, ki massive Kickstarter that I received. And uh, we'll be moving on to other projects eventually. But we're also going to be painting the Master Darkness 1 stuff at some point too in the channel. So just keep an eye out for that. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. This way you'll know when I'm putting up new videos. And I'm thinking of doing some live streams where I either paint or build some miniatures. Let me know if you think that's something you guys would like to see. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm finishing off the base now with some light earth. This is an AK interactive diorama terrain series stuff. It's a really cool light earth. You can put this. I, you could also put a contrast paint on top of it to make it more earthy if you want. I want it to be a little light. I'm going to add a little bit more stuff to it at the bottom here after uh, to make it look like those roots are really in the ground. Part of like a whole other scenery. Um, a lot of times uh, the roaming monsters, I usually do a base on them, even though they're not often on the table. Uh, it's just they're nice pieces. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, cork board here to, to the wet light terrain. So while it's still wet, I can get it to dry on there. And here I dropped a whole bunch of the brown battlefield on the ground. Anyways, there you go. Queen Canedra is painted and ready for the table. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you all for the support you've given me over the years. I'll see you all in the next one.